With Apple Notes, all your information about your projects are in one place. You can use Apple Notes to plan, collaborate, collect, and share information with your family and friends. It's a powerful app, and it's on your iPhone and iPad. And with Apple Notes, everything you need to remember or store is just a tap away. Whether they're notes on medications and medical visits, vacation plans, home renovations, life history, journaling, or literally just about anything you'd like to keep track of. It has a simple design, which makes it easy to use, and you can create multiple notebooks and organize them into sections, as well as draw sketches on notes, and you can add photos and files or links to other notes and format them with bold text, italics, and underlining. This video is a continuation of my iPad Power Tips for Senior series. If you're completely new to Apple Notes, you might want to check out my earlier tips video, link in the description below. However, if you're a senior or beginner looking for a deeper dive into Apple Notes, then this video is for you. And by the way, if you do find this video helpful, please consider subscribing. I'll wait. Hi, my name is Rich, and I know everyone is different, and while you may organize your notes differently than I do, I urge you to stick around and let me show you the five ways I use Apple Notes that helps me stay organized and efficient. Today I'm going to show you how I organize with the Para folder method, Para, P-A-R-A. I'm going to show you how to create and use subfolders, how to create and pen template notes, how to format a note. You can format the text in a note. And lastly, I'll show you how to print a note. All right, let's get started. All right, the first thing I want to talk to you about is the para folder method. Let me open this up on notes so you can see what I'm talking about. Para stands for projects, areas, resources, and archives. And I keep those as my top level folders. Everything falls into one of those four categories. Projects are things that have a beginning and an end. You know, maybe you have a project to replace the carpet in your house. Well, there's a point where the carpet's in the house and the project is over with. So that's what I mean by a project that has a beginning and an end. And I put those in the projects folder. The areas folder are for things that really don't have an end. It's just things that you need to continually work on. Maybe it's your finances. Maybe you want to keep track of all the automobiles you had. Or maybe you want to keep track of your medical history or vacations and travel. Things like that that you just continually do on a regular basis. That's what you put in the areas folder. Resources is a folder I use to keep track of things that um, provide information to me, like um, a manual for the refrigerator or, you know, some sort of uh, reference material that provides information. I put all those in the resources folder. And then lastly, the archives folder is where I move things that I will no longer need. So maybe if I complete the carpet project, I'll drag and drop the carpet project into the archives folder. That way, if I need to go back and look at it or get some information from that project, it's still there, but it's in the archives folder and it's not taking space in the projects folder. So I'll show you um, what I have in my folders here. So if you'll notice, I've created a top level folder called projects and it says zero. The number beside the folder represents the number of notes you have in the folder. And it looks like I have nothing in the projects folder. If you tap the little icon, you can see I have two projects in here, landscape renovation and cabinet painting. And then you, if I open that up, you'll see I have no notes there because I'm just now starting this project and the same thing for cabinet painting but I just simply created two folders and put them in the projects folder. In the areas folder, I have a lot more. I have auto maintenance, banking, home maintenance, lawn care, medical, and travel. These are things that I keep track of in the areas folder. And I add and delete things from there from time to time. Just, I put in there whatever's important to me. In the resources folder, I have service manuals, note templates, things that I use on a regular basis. And then I don't have anything in the archives folder. But that para method um, is a great way to just keep a high level organization of all your folders. Before I started using this system, I had probably a hundred folders and it just took me forever to find what I was looking for. 
uh, projects and all this kind of stuff were just scattered all over the place. So knowing that I've got a folder for projects makes it much quicker for me to go in and take a look at uh, what I'm trying to find. So that is the pair of folder method. All right, the next thing I want to show you is how to create a subfolder. It's really simple. You just create a folder and then place it in the folder that you want it to go into. So let me show you how to do that. So right now in my areas folder, I have medical and I have a folder for me, but I don't have one for my wife. So I'm going to tap the little plus folder sign down at the bottom and I'm going to tap on new folder and I'm going to give it a name. My wife's name and I'm going to click save and then I'm going to just tap and hold and you can move the folder so when you do that you get a choice of where you want it to go so I'm going to put it in the medical folder and just like that you can see that Rhonda has been added to the medical folder and that way you have one folder for high-level organization and then you can drill down a little bit deeper and that's about as simple as it gets. That's how you create a folder and place it in another folder, creating a subfolder. The next thing I want to show you how to do is how to create and pen a template note. Now, there are no technical template notes in uh, Apple Notes, but I just call it a template note because I can copy it and use it over and over. An example of that is in my travel folder. So I have what's called a travel, I've just labeled the note travel template. And in here I put my destination, the date, whether we're going to fly or drive, who will be going with us on the trip, and then other information. And rather than create this note for every single trip that I take, I just save this as a template and then I copy it. And let me show you how you do that. First thing you do is tap the little circle with three dots in it, then tap on send a copy, and then copy again, and we'll create a new note, and we'll call this Texas Trip. And then you tap and hold, and click paste, and there, now you've got your travel template in here. And that way you don't have to create the note over and over. You just copy and paste it into a new note. And it's really easy to do that. And that's how you create uh, a template note. Now you might want to pin that template note. So we'll tap on that and you'll tap on the circle with the three dots in it again and you just simply hit pin. And that takes the template note to the very top. So as the notes grow down here in your trips and it becomes a long list, you'll always have your travel template right at the top. And that is how you pen a template note. All right, the next thing I want to show you how to do is how to format. So when you create a note like this, you can do a lot of different things to it. So if you just tap and hold, and then come down to the large A and little a and tap on that. Now you can create a heading, a subheading, a body, or a title. Either one of those are in here and you can make it bold or not bold. You can make it italic. You can underline it. And you can also uh, create lists here too. So if you've got it how you want it, and you want to create a list, you can do this and type in Delta 101 to Chicago and then Dallas Fort Worth arrival. And that's how you create a little bullet list. And all of that is controlled down here with the A, the large A, and the small A. You just tap on it. And you have all kinds of choices here. You can create a bullet list, a list like that. You can create a number list. Or you can format in a variety of different ways almost any of the text that you have on your note. And that's how you format a note. 
it takes a little time to get used to it, but once you do, you can really make your notes look good and make them easy to read for the future. All right, the last thing I want to show you how to do is how to print a note. I don't need to print notes very often, but every once in a while, it's kind of handy if I do, or if I've got some information that I want to give my wife and I just she doesn't want to look at it on her phone, she just wants a piece of paper. Um, you just go up to the note you want to print. And I'll tap on my test format note. And again, if you tap the circle with the three dots in it and go to print, choose your printer. You have to have a printer, of course, and it needs to be on a network or an air printer for your iPad. Um, so there's a special kind of printer you got to have to use with your iPad, and I happen to have one that's on my network. And But you just tap the print button once it's there, and that's it. And then you go and you have your printed note, just like that. So I don't think you need to print things very often, but it is handy when you need to do that. And that is how you print a note. Apple Notes is one of the best note-taking apps on the market, and it comes pre-installed on your iPad and iPhone. And even though it's a free app, Apple has packed it full of practical features. I keep coming back to it because it's just so easy to use. It's a great tool for keeping track of everything you need to remember. You can create different notebooks and organize them any way you like. And one of the best things is that it syncs across all your devices. So, you know, whatever you do on your iPad shows up on your iPhone or Mac. Well, I hope this deeper dive into Apple Notes was helpful. Let me know in the comments below how you use Apple Notes. We've got a great community and we can all learn from each other. Okay, that's a wrap on this one. Thanks so much for watching and as always, I'll see you in the next video.